everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. It's opening week in the NFL, and today we have two teams are more than ready to get the season underway. It's the Falcons going up against the Eagles. Now we'll take you out to the Georgia Dome for this matchup. The opening week of the National Football League has finally arrived. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. And, Phil, it's the start of a whole new season. There's a sense of renewal in the air and all kinds of hope. And how do you feel about getting this season underway? Well, I think you're right. It is a lot of hope for all the teams in the NFL, but also what you have in a game like this, opening day, you have nerves. So it's up to the coaches to really put the players in situations where they can get involved in the game and get rid of those nerves so they can show everything they worked on this offseason can work. Now as we go to the field, it's Devin Hester back deep for the kickoff. The Eagles setting up here for the kickoff. The dawning of a new NFL season is upon us. Hester, the return man here. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Coming on to the field, he has been a model of consistency since coming into the league out of Boston College, quarterback Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan had a really good last year, even though he didn't get the protection by his offensive line. So he proved to everybody, even though he's not a speed guy, he could stand in that pocket under pressure and make plays. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Freeman's got on the handle. Taken down at the 33. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Oh, would they ever. They would love this. This is... This is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. And Thornton in on the tackle. Freeman's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. The Falcons go with two tight ends on this play. And gains maybe four. For this offense, one of the most consistent threats they've had since being a first-round pick in 2005 out of UAB is Roddy White. If you give Matt Ryan the time to throw the football between Julio Jones and this guy who goes unnoticed sometimes, Roddy White, man, can they get it done. Roddy White is just a terrific wide receiver in the NFL. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast, they're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes, accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. Hester's got it on a pass that had some heat. Well, in the NFL, they can't always block those defensive linemen. Good job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the rush, getting outside the pocket, and a beautiful throw on the run. Freeman's handed the football. Watkins is there that time for the tackle. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. 
It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. He runs with it right up the gut. And that's a game of nine. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. First and goal. Smith, touchdown. Marching right down the field for an opening score. What a way to start the year. The opening drive of the season for your football team, and what do you do? You march right down the field and score a touchdown. All that work in training camp, it all came to just it melded right together. You made it happen. Exciting stuff. Now they come out for the point after. Of course, this year, the new rule, the PAT, is snapped from the 15-yard line, making the point after 13 yards longer than the pass, a 33-yard point after attempt. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. The offense is led by quarterback Sam Bradford, who came into the league as the number one overall selection for the St. Louis Rams and has battled knee injuries throughout. Well, he's battled some injuries, but I'll say this. He deserved to be the number one pick the year he came out. And one thing he can still do, he can throw the football with any other quarterback in this league, give him time, give him a good offense, and he'll make it work. Beasley has the sack. Falcons first round pick has his first NFL career sack. Yeah, how about that? You know, listen, this NFL, it's about two things. Protecting the quarterback and hitting the opposing quarterback. And my man just laid a big hit on that quarterback. That's dropped by Cooper, who couldn't bring it in. As we take a look at this offense, you'll be seeing him running and receiving today a number of times, and that is running back DeMarco Murray. Yeah, DeMarco Murray has just been a solid NFL player ever since he's come into this league. From the University of Oklahoma, he's tough, big, and strong. That's what you like to see out of running back. Welcome back, folks. We're getting set for the start of the next quarter. Hester's got it now. Games 19. The Falcons go, there's three parts to every football game. Offense, defense, and special teams. What a play for the special teams here. Good punt return, good blocking. They get it done. The Falcons back on the field on offense. They've got to be pleased with the way their offense took shape on that previous drive which went all the way for a touchdown. Yeah, their calling card has always been the fact that they like to do both things. They're very conscious of running the football to keep the defense honest. They did that in the last drive, and then they take advantage of the fact they're running it well, and then they play action pass or drop back. They get good protection, and they make it happen. Boy, it's been a good mix so far, both the pass and run. Yeah, that's what you want. You want to mix it up, keep that defense thinking, and that's what it works the best. That's Ryan connecting with Roddy White. That's his first reception today. Defense is about discipline. And when you lose discipline, big plays happen. That time, the defensive pass rushers 
a little overzealous. They get out of the rush lanes. The quarterback gets outside and makes the play. He's wide open for the grab. Touchdown, Atlanta. They continue to pour it on early in the second quarter with yet another touchdown here, Phil. Well, I hope the defense learned a little something on that drive. The way they are playing is not working. So if you are allowed to blitz in this league, you can take a chance. That's what I suggest. Get after it, be more aggressive, and blitz that offense. The Falcons ready to kick it away. He's going to run this one out. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. The Eagles from the 27. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. And now they'll try over again on second down. Good job by the offense going the hurry-up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. Incomplete. The hit jarred the ball loose. Cooper's one of those guys. If he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows, no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. Murray's out there to receive the screen pass. That's a pickup of 14. So far, wonderful execution in this drive. When you get a chance to get out of bounds, here the offensive player got the yardage, had a chance, gets out of the bounds, stops the clock. Good job by the offense. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Murray on the screen. Collins is all over the ball carrier. It's third down coming up. You know, you go to the hurry-up offense so you can get a high number of plays in, but also you don't want to use the timeout. All set to punt here. is going out of bounds. They are not going to allow them to return it. The Falcons have been firing on all cylinders offensively in the first half, and they find themselves in excellent shape as we near halftime. Oh, man, they are in good shape. I love what they're doing on the offensive side, and don't change anything. Go in there at halftime, pat those offensive guys in the back and say, keep it going. I think they will. That's his first reception today. Falcons are looking good so far, Phil, and a lot of that has to do with the passing game. Ryan's on fire. It's an awesome feeling as a quarterback to be in rhythm, to get people open and have time to throw the football down the field. That's why they're winning, Jim. You said it right. The quarterback is hot. Receivers in the NFL now, they can get down the field and just give them a chance. That's what the quarterback did. Nice catch by the receiver. First and goal. Freeman's going to secure the handoff. The Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Stepping up, ready to spring into action at the eight. The Eagles with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Second and goal from the eight. No stopping them now. That's a touchdown. And 
this game gets more and more out of hand, the second half may just end up being a mere formality. It could be. You know, you go in at halftime in a game like this when you're really get, getting manhandled, you got to find a way just to make a few plays to give you hope. If you can do that, look, in this league, you never know. The Eagles have been flat out manhandled so far. Perhaps their special teams unit can change the momentum of this one. They need something to go their way. The score's 21 to 0. That returns good for about 22. The Eagles didn't get much out of that last drive, so now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Nance. I sure hope so. After that last drive, that was just too generic, wasn't very well thought out, and they got to change what they're doing on the offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but man, that was pretty easy. Thanks, Jim. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Falcons are happy to be sitting in the locker room with a lead. The Eagles won't panic either. They know they just need to take it one play at a time. Here we go. Let's do this. Here's your first half highlights. Falcons on offense. First quarter winding down. Quick pass and completion is made here. And after the short pass, he'll score. That puts them up by a touchdown. Now early in the second quarter, Jones is going to haul in the pass, and this two-play drive goes for a TD. That puts them on top by 14. First and 10, it's going to be Ryan to Jones on the deep ball, and it's going to end up going for a gain of 52. Same drive, the quick pass, it's complete, and it leads to a touchdown. The Falcons up now by 21. So then I'll bring our halftime report to a close. We'll go back now to the Georgia Dome for the start of the third quarter. With Phil Simms alongside and Danielle Bellini reporting from the sidelines. Jim Nance from the Georgia Dome as the third quarter is about to get underway. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Eagles offense trots out onto the field looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half. After running it, it's second down. that's bad but the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover this will be a fair catch by Hester the Eagles defense where was it the last time they could not stop the pass well they were trying I mean they were working as hard as they could but Hey, this group they're going against on offense, they're pretty good. First down at the 33. Has space. And making the stop, it's Malcolm Jenkins. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second and short. to White. White's taken down at the 49. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art that this team is good at. Gaines, 19. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Freeman's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. 
He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past it and picks up the first down. First down at the 32. And it's knocked down. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. The Falcons from the 32. Ryan hits Roddy White. White's marked down after a gain of four. That's his fourth catch of the day. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Ryan's completion percentage, 90% on the day. Touchdown! And kind of like looking at you, this game is getting uglier by the minute. Wow, you know, and everybody says you're a nice guy. Now, see, you say things like that, and you just ruin your reputation as a man of the people. Heck, oh, well. Well, you know, Jim, sometimes you got to say mean things. This game has been mean, too. One team is getting blown out. The Falcons for the extra point. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. It's Boykin with the return. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Eagles weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here. Do you think they are going to vary their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of information out there in that short drive, Jim, and you do that by showing different formations and plays. You saw how the defense reacted to it. Now you counter-react and see if you can get some positive plays. I'm sure they're tired of being in the three-and-out business. Well, that's a bad business to be in. I know. I get in a lot of bad businesses. The Eagles have it at the 24. Murray's hit and brought down. The fourth quarter about to get underway, and there's not much left to do in this one other than to run out the clock. Yeah, that's what you hope to do on the side. When you're winning a game like this, you want to run the clock out. And you know what, Jim? On the other side, they want that clock to run, too, because they're just trying to find a way to get out of this game. That's a huge third down conversion, especially after all the failures leading up to this point. Well, that'll make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Darren Sproles with the catch. Sproles is tackled down after a gain of 10. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time. He throws it down the field for another completion. First and 10. Two hands on the football and has the catch. That's his third catch of the day. All you can do is your job, and that was a good job by the offense, picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. Just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. First and goal from the nine. Matt throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, it's first and goal. I think a lot of defenses are thinking run here. And so the offense, they call a nice play, very deceptive. They throw the football and they get the easy touchdown pass. The Eagles preparing for the onside kick. Everything hinged on them recovering that onside kick, and they failed to do so. Well, Jim, when you do the onside kick, you really got to hope for that perfect bounce of the football. That time it did not happen. 
That's why they didn't recover. The Eagles with a nickel look here on defense. Now first and ten. Freeman's brought down after picking up 11 on this play. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. First down here. The Eagles will come out in the dive. The give slashes to the left side. Kendrick's going to make the tackle. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. They hand it off to him again. Cox is able to read that play and make the hit. Well, this is not a surprise, Jim. This is what you do. You run the football. You play the clock. This is called managing the game, and it's all up to the head coach getting this done. Freeman's lined up in a single back formation. Falcons take it from the 28. And now Ryan's going to take off. Bryant set now to attempt the field goal. Drives it through for the field goal. Phil, you think that was the right call, adding a field goal? You already had this game locked up. No, Jim, I, I don't agree with the call. I would not have uh, kicked the field goal. I would have gone forward on fourth down, and they just rubbed it in there right there. And in this league, people never forget. Murray's running this one out. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Eagles' offense comes onto the field, and even if they put together a scoring drive, there's not going to be any difference here in the outcome. Now just playing for a little bit of pride, and perhaps to try to get things going for next week. Well, pride's gone out the window. You've lost that already because it's been a dismal performance by your whole football team today. And I say this on the offensive side, don't press the issue, just get this game over with. The Falcons lined up in the nickel. Second down and ten. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. That's reception number four for him. Well, even though they have no chance of winning this game, you might as well try your hurry-up offense just to get some good practice in. Hey, if nothing else, pad those stats. With about 30 seconds left, it's second down. Second and ten. He's drilled as he throws. Well, it's third long. I'll just say this. Be very careful on the offensive side. It'll be third down. The Eagles have to get to the 41 for a first. That's dropped by Cooper, who couldn't bring it in. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. Hester's going to try and return this punt. And they bring him down at the 33-yard line. That return's good for about 10. The Falcons offense comes out for what is, in essence, just a kneel down or two to make this one official. And, Phil, what a sweet moment it is for that bunch of players right there. Oh, yeah, a lot of smiles on the young. Brandon Graham has the sack. That's an awesome job by the outside linebacker. He gets a sack on the quarterback. And nowadays, you've got to do it all if you're an outside linebacker. You've got to be tough against the run, cover receivers down the field, and, yes, Plays like that get to the quarterback. You get that win week one, and it certainly takes a little bit of the edge off, doesn't it? Oh, no, it does more than that. It takes a lot of the edge off. Uh, when you win the opening day game, you just feel like, hey, we're going to win them all. And all that hard work, it was all worth it. And the following week, you're going to listen to the coach because he led you to that first victory.
So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. Start improving your team by upgrading your players with the